This is Blender Was, the ultimate Linux distro killer. Blender Was is the perfect blend of Linux distros, Android apps, and web apps. Blender Was is an immutable operating system and allows you to install system packages normally thanks to an overlay file system, the root partition remains untouched, hence making an operating system read-only. Blend OS offers an out-of-the-box experience so that you can quickly get started running Linux distros inside a container and use their package managers from a single Blend OS shell. Thanks to the integration of Vagerite, Blend OS allows you to run Android apps and games in a window mode just like native Linux applications in high performance mode. All these amazing things about Blend OS are going to be covered in this video. Hey guys, KSK here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything about Blend OS, so make sure to watch the video till to the end. Blend OS is available in two editions. It ships with the latest and greatest desktop environments, including GNOME 43 and KDE Plasma 5.27, without any modifications and offers a plain vanilla user experience. You can download the Blend OS from their GitHub portal. Now, aside from the officially supported editions of Blend OS, you can also use the official Blend OS build web page to easily create and submit your Blend OS remix with a window manager or desktop environment of your choice. Installing Blend OS is a lot quicker and faster. Blend OS uses Jade GUI, which uses Libadvata as frontend and Blend Installer Framework as its backend. This allows for a quick and breezy installation, making the Blend OS installer one of the fastest in any operating system. The moment you are done installing Blend OS and login, you will be greeted with the Blend OS welcome screen. I recommend you go through each slide to know more about the Blend OS and its features. You can click on Get Started and start reading each page. Now, as you can see right from the welcome screen, you can create containers for Linux using Blend OS settings. We're going to talk about Linux containers and Android support in a few minutes. Blend OS is an immutable operating system. However, unlike all other immutable operating systems, it allows you to install system packages normally thanks to an overlay file system that also allows you to roll back to existing snapshots if anything goes wrong. Blend OS uses Arch Linux as a base system. That means you can take advantage of Pacman and Arch user repository to install the required software package or applications you need. So when you install any packages, including desktop environments, they get installed to the USR directory or overlay. This way, the root partition remains untouched, hence making an operating system or the base OS read-only. As I said, Blend OS is the perfect blend of Linux distros, Android, and Web OS. We're going to get to the latter part in a moment. Let's talk about Linux containers. The container approach lets you run Fedora, Ubuntu, on Arch Linux in isolated environment. Blend OS uses Podman as a backend to manage Linux containers. To create a Linux container, open Blend OS settings. Then choose the Linux container. Look for an option to create a new container. Just name the container and choose the distribution you want to run inside the container. Now, as of now, these are the four pre configured distros that you can download and install from the Docker Hub. And once you decide the distro to install, click on Create Container. It's going to pull the Docker image and set up a Linux distro in a moment. 
In my case, I choose to run Ubuntu inside a container and it's ready to use. Now just click on the play button and start interacting with the Ubuntu shell environment. You can use apt or dpkg to install any apps or packages. Likewise, you can run a Fedora Arch inside a container. Keep in mind, you can only run one container window at the moment. When a container window is open, you cannot instantiate the other container window. Once you have set Linux containers with Ubuntu, Fedora, and Arch Linux, you can use apt, dnf, and pacman all together from a single blend OWA shell just like you would use them on their native distributions. In applications or binaries you install using these package managers will automatically appear on the host system. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to install a package that is not available in the Arch repository. I don't have to worry about that. Simply, I can use apt or dnf to install the package easily. Likewise, you can install any app from any of the supported distributions using apt, pacman, or dnf. The apps will be added to the app menu as regular applications on your system as well as binaries. Now if in case you install the same applications from two distributions, you can prioritize one over the other by dragging the containers. It's time to set up an Android environment in Blend OS that allows running Android apps and games. Blend OS uses WageRide as a backend to emulate the Android operating system on x86 hardware. You can enable Android app support from Blend OS settings. Simply click on Initialize and wait for some time to set up WageRide. You will see a lot of prompts asking for an admin password feel free to satisfy them. Once WageRide has been successfully initialized, you need to restart your system. Now you can see WageRide is running as a daemon service. You can install the Aurora Store or FTry to install Android apps or games. I tried some of the popular Android applications, it worked very well for me. What's the amazing thing about Blend OS is, all the installed applications or games will be added to the app menu along with Linux applications to quickly get started working with them. This is a boon for Android developers since your applications will behave just like native applications and open in a regular window making testing much easier. Keep in mind that Android applications do not work on virtual machines. If you are using an NVIDIA GPU, Blend OS will detect it and automatically configure WageRi to use software rendering. 
Along with Linux distros and Android apps, BlendOS offers web app support. Simply use BlendOS as a web operating system and use web apps just like desktop applications. You can also submit your applications to the web store. BlendOS supports unique software updates. They have implemented a unique update solution that automatically downloads and applies updates on the next boot. That's pretty much it guys about the BlendOS. In summary, BlendOS offers GNOME and KDE Plasma editions that you can choose to install on your laptop or PC. BlendOS is an immutable operating system and uses an overlay file system approach that helps the root file system untouched. With the help of Linux containers, you can install Ubuntu, Fedora, and Arch Linux and use APT, Pacman, or DNF all together from the single BlendOS shell. All the binaries and GUI applications you install using these package managers from the base system or BlendOS shell. Thanks to the integration of Android and web app support that helps an end user to run mobile software along with desktop applications in one place. So what do you guys think about the Blend OS? Let me know in the comments section down below. Just go ahead and grab the Blend OS ISO and install it on your PC or laptop. Keep in mind, laptop users don't install the KDE Plasma Edition, which is clogged with bugs and needs to be fixed as soon as possible. For the time being, use GNOME Edition, which works next level. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Rao. I will see you in the next one.